afternoon and welcome to my kitchen. Now anybody who knows me knows that I love Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. The only problem is it does have high fructose corn syrup in it, but it's one of those things that we make better choices elsewhere because we don't use it that often. However, my friend Jack Luck 4, who I've been following for a long time, who I just realized was following me and we've been having a little exchange uh, over the last couple of weeks, she's really getting into cooking fresh wholesome meals from scratch for her family, she came up with an almost Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce recipe and I'm going to give it a try today and I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. I'm going to give you links to her channel and if you're not already subscribed to this awesome lady, I want you to go over there and check her out because she is fantastic. So let's go try Jack Luck 4 or Heather's almost Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. let's get started. I'm going to go over the ingredients with you. Um, this is Jack Luck or 4 or Heather's recipe for almost Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. We have one, I have about a cup and a half of ketchup and my preferred brand of ketchup is the Simply Heinz. Um, doesn't have any HFCS in it and we really like the taste of it. It totally tastes better and different than the other kind that they have on the market. Uh, a cup of brown sugar, a quarter of a cup of molasses, quarter of a cup of water, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I have a teaspoon of liquid smoke. This is one of the places that I have changed it. Uh, Heather put two tablespoons in her recipe and I'll put a link down below to her recipe so you can see it. We don't like it as smoky so we're going to put in just a teaspoon to start and then we'll taste it. Um, and then we have the uh, we're gonna do, this is six ounces of pineapple juice. Her recipe calls for a quarter of a cup, which is four ounces. I'm not gonna waste the, you know, two ounces. I'm just gonna chuck them in. Two tablespoons, I'm sorry, a tablespoon of, of paprika or smoked paprika, whichever is your preference. I have two teaspoons of garlic powder. I have one tablespoon of ground mustard and a teaspoon each of salt and cracked black pepper. And really, all you do is you're going to put this in a pot and get it on the heat. Now, um, her recipe also indicates that if you want it to be thicker, after it heats up, you can, you know, mix some cornstarch and water and make a slurry. There goes my brown sugar, my molasses. And you can thicken this up like that. So it's entirely up to you. Oh. I sprayed my little plastic cup with some vegetable spray so that I could get every last drop out of there. Almost. Close enough. Liquid smoke, Worcestershire, water. Pineapple juice. Which I think is a brilliant addition, frankly, because the pineapple juice is probably what I've been missing. Paprika, garlic, mustard powder. If you don't have powder, go ahead and squeeze it in from what you have in the fridge. Salt and pepper. And I'm going to just tap that off real quick. And I'm going to get my whisk out here, break up that brown sugar. And then I'm going to get this over the heat and I'm going to heat it up and we'll meet you over at the stove. All right, I brought this almost up to a simmer. It's warm, it's steaming, and all of the ingredients have melded together. And uh, what do you think, honey? It is really good. It is really good, Heather. <laughs> this is uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. Never would I have in a million years guessed pineapple juice would be the ingredient that I've been missing all this time. I've been trying 87 different ways to mix brown sugar and apple cider vinegar and ketchup and it just wasn't hitting the right notes, but this is perfect. I will say, I did make a couple of changes to your original recipe. I put less liquid smoke. I actually did put two teaspoons. We added a teaspoon after we tasted it. And I put about a teaspoon of chipotle 
Tabasco sauce in here instead of the cayenne pepper. And it hits all the right notes, in my opinion. I think it is absolutely perfection. Yeah. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna put mine in a mason jar. Perfect. It's gonna be just about a full, full jar. I'm not gonna be able to put all of it in there, but that's okay. So you're gonna get a little bit better than four cups of this sauce, and there's ever so slightly enough in there, you know, for your husband to mm -hmm. sneak the rest of the taste. Yep. So this is amazing barbecue sauce. Thank you, Heather, at the Jack Luck 4 channel. I hope that you guys seriously consider trying this, and I hope that you love it, and I know that you will. Go check out Heather's channel. I'll put a link below. Check out her recipe video for this barbecue sauce because hers is ever so slightly different. Make it your own. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. For joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram and Google Plus and Blogger. I have a blog over there and you can take a look at that. You can um, subscribe to that feed as well. And don't forget that every recipe that you see me um, do here on YouTube, with the exception of a few earlier ones, you can access all of the recipes over on my website, NareensKitchen.com, where you will find printer-friendly versions of those recipes so you can print them out and keep them for your own. So, I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!